What does a general inspection cover? Should you get additional inspections on top of that? All of that and more. Hello everyone, my name is Cameron Stevens, the entertainment industry's real estate agent and the owner of Stevens Real Estate, a real estate experience tailored to the creative client. Today we're gonna to talk about everything in a general inspection. Now the general inspection is part of three major inspections that we get on almost every property. That also includes the termite and dry rot inspection and the mainline sewer inspection. Okay, so let's go over what a general inspection will cover. The inspector will check the interior, exterior, windows, doors, the entire HVAC system, any basement or crawl spaces, the fireplace, the roof, the electrical system, the visible plumbing systems, and the foundation. So let's get into each of these specifically. For the interior, the inspector will open and close doors and windows to test them, visually inspect the walls, ceiling, stairs, railings, guards and handrails, and the garage doors and the operation of the garage vehicle door openers. On the exterior, the inspector will look at the exterior wall covering material, the eaves, any soffits and the fascia, all exterior doors, flashing and trim, adjacent walkways and driveways, any exterior stairs, steps, stoops and ramps, porches, patios, decks, balconies and carports, as well as any vegetation, surface drainage, retaining walls, and the grading of the property where it might adversely affect the structure due to moisture intrusion. The inspector will look at the HVAC system, operate the controls, locate the different aspects of the system so they can convey that to you, and to test for a proper range of heating and cooling, usually with one of those cool temperature reading laser guns. With the foundation, the inspector will look for any indications that wood is in contact with or even near soil or any indications of active water penetration, uh, any possible foundation movement such as sheetrock cracks or brick cracks or out of square door frames is a great indication or unlevel flooring and observe any cutting or notching or boring of framing members that might present a structural or a safety concern. They'll look at the fireplace, check out the fireplace opening, check out the damper doors by kind of opening and closing them, making sure that those are moving properly, and then any clean out doors or frames. You'll get a full rundown of the roof as well, including a description of what type of materials are covering the roof, the state of uh, the gutters, uh, downspouts, vents, flashing, uh, any skylights, uh, where things are connecting to the chimney and any other roof penetrations, and then just looking at the general structure of the roof from wherever they can gain access to. With the electric system, the inspector will look at the service drop, the actual electric meter itself, the panel boards and overcurrent protection devices like circuit breakers and fuses, uh, any electrical grounding, uh, look at all the switches, the light fixtures, as well as any outlets that are in need of GFCIs using a GFCI tester. And then finally, for the presence of smoke and carbon monoxide detectors. With the plumbing system, they'll look at the main water supply shutoff valve. They'll look for the main fuel supply shutoff valve, uh, the water heating equipment, including what type of energy source, uh, the venting connections, the temperature pressure relief valves, looking for the uh, presence of seismic bracing, uh, looking at the interior water supply, they'll take a look at all the fixtures and faucets and toilets for proper operation, all sinks, tubs, and showers for functional drainage. Uh, they'll look at the drain and waste and vent system itself and any drainage sump pumps. Whew, okay. That's a lot of stuff. <laughs> so what is not covered, you might ask? Well, a general inspection does not cover mold. So if the general inspector identifies a substance that it's probably mold, might be mold. We will bring out a different specialist for that uh, and they'll take a look specifically in that area. Uh, an inspection will also not cover appliances like microwave or washer and dryer. These things are considered personal property. And if there's a pool or a spa, the normal general inspection won't cover that, but we'll add on an inspection for that as well. A lot of the best general inspectors will also take a look at all the pool equipment. And if anything is 
actively not working, then we'll get a specialist for those things to take a look at why they're not working and getting bids for their repair. Finally, a general inspection does not cover termites. That's a separate inspection like we talked about at the beginning, and it doesn't cover the main sewer line. Again, another separate inspection. Uh, that is one where the camera is run down all the way from the house to the connection to the city sewer line to look for cracks, roots, and other obstruction. But again, not a part of the general inspection. At Stevens Real Estate, my buyers always get a general inspection. It's free as a part of my program to pay for all of your inspections. Okay, there you have it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you learned something about home inspections and everything they cover. At Stevens Real Estate, we specialize in working with creative professionals, entrepreneurs, and especially people in the entertainment industry because I spent seven years of my life working in animation and visual effects. And that's why I designed Stevens Real Estate to be tailored to the creative client. I also designed a few value adding programs for both buyers and sellers that no one else is offering. For buyers, you get all of your inspections paid for, no questions asked, like we just talked about. And sellers, we maximize the price of your most valuable asset by giving you fresh paint, new floors, updated landscaping, and full staging at no cost to you. So if you like my energy and personality, and you think my expertise and the programs that I offer would benefit you, it is never too early to get the conversation started. Additionally, I have a fantastic referral program. So if you know someone that would benefit from connecting with me, I would absolutely love an introduction. Thanks again for watching, and at the end of this video, there will be a QR code that you can scan to be taken directly to my website, or a link down there somewhere where you can click to learn more.